Thank you, Ed. All this week, we are getting you all ready for tax free weekend that starts tomorrow. Yeah, it's right around the corner. The holiday is great for students to stock up, but it's huge for teachers too. Today, WBIR 10 News reporter Katie Inman introduces us to a mother daughter teacher duo who say tax free weekend is like Christmas, but they still feel the pain in their pockets. I feel like I pretty much grew up in this school, actually. This mother-daughter teacher duo know what to shop for on that tax-free holiday every year. <laughs> well, Christmas we're, in July. We're, we're always looking for discounts and sales or whatever. Um, so, of course, the tax-free weekend helps out. Like most teachers, they dip into their own pockets to get school supplies. Some things are a few bucks. For me, it is definitely crowns, glue, and scissors. I don't know if they eat those things or what happens to them, but they're gone always. <laughs> okay, so what do you feel like you spend the most money on as a teacher? Oh, that's very easy. Um, the decorations. <laughs> You want your kids to come to school and be excited. The school box in Knoxville always sees an influx of teacher shoppers on tax free weekend. We just try and make sure the shelves are full. We have everything ready on backup. But there are some things even a school supply store isn't able to sell tax free. A lot of the bulletin board sets, the trimmers that they use, uh, workbooks that they use in their classrooms, it does not fall under the tax free items. Caitlin and Dina agree decorations, cleaning products and books are items they wish they could skip paying the tax on, but say other groups invest in education too. But we're very lucky here because we have a lot of people in the community, parents, organizations and churches who also look forward to tax free weekend to stock up and then donate to us. Katie Inman, 10 News. Well, the school box says schools are also able to set up accounts with them so teachers are able to show tax exempt all year. Tax free weekend also a great time for people to shop for those supplies and donate them to schools and nonprofits for students and families in need. Yeah, just pick up a few extra pencils, pens, and things like that when you're shopping. Well, while you're out shopping, you can also help Mission of Hope. The organization works year round to help kids in need in rural Appalachia. Starting tomorrow, you can help them collect the brand new school supplies that kids need to be successful all year. They'll be at the Office Max in Turkey Creek.